Well, before knowing how to ball a googly, let's learn or let's define what actually the googly is. Well, googly is a kind of unexpected delivery in leg spin bowling which pitches in and around the off stump line for a right handed batsman and moves into the stumps after hitting the pitch. Now let's learn how to ball a googly. Well, actually to ball a googly, we need to concentrate on many different things like gripping the ball, position of arm, position of body, position of wrist, rotation of the ball and direction of front leg. Now let's move on to how to grip the ball. Well, the gripping for a googly will be similar to the way you grip for the leg break. It will be in this way. Well, to ball a googly, what you have to do is grip the ball just like similar to a leg break. You can see my grip which is just like similar to a leg break grip. Well, you can see my ring finger which is pointing downward and also clearly resting on the seam. And this finger is also called as turning finger. And you can see my a middle finger and index finger which are clearly resting on the seam with a comfortable distance. While the distance between the middle finger and the index finger should be a comfortable distance, not a, not too close or not too far. And you can see my thumb which can be switched on and switched off and pointing in up direction. Well, this is the way you grip the ball for a leg break and also for a googly. And this finger is called turning finger because it turns the ball from right to left like this. You can see how I am turning the ball from right to left. Well, this is the finger which plays the key role in rotating the ball from right to left in both googly and leg break. Well, this is and finally the, the grip will be in this way. Not too tight or not too loose like this. Okay, the grip finally should be like this which is a comfortable grip and also the best one okay now let's move on to the position of arm well to ball a googly the position of the arm has to be at an angle of more than 60 degrees with respect to the shoulder well you can see in this video very clearly the position of the arm is clearly looking like a high arm action In contrast, in this leg break video, you can see very clearly the position of the arm is nearly at an angle of 45 degrees with respect to the shoulder. Well, this is one of the major differences between the leg break and googly with respect to the position of the arm. Now, let's move on to the position of the wrist. Well, to ball a googly, the position of the wrist has to be rotated from basic 0 degree position to 180 degree position which is nothing but the, the back of the palm will face the batsman. Well, you can see in this video very clearly how nicely the back of the palm is facing the batsman. In contrast, in this leg break video, you can see very clearly the back of the palm is clearly facing the bowler but not the batsman. Well, this is one of the key differences between the leg break and googly with respect to the position of wrist or you can say back of the palm. Now, let's move on to the direction of front leg. Well, to bowl a googly, the direction of the front leg has to be towards the batsman and maybe sometimes towards the first slip region. Well, because of the high arm action or you can say little bit high arm action, the position, I mean the direction of the front leg has to be adjusted from the fine leg direction to straight direction. Whereas in this leg break video, you can see very clearly the direction of the front leg is clearly towards the fine leg region. In fact, you can say that it should be towards the fine leg region. Well, this is one of the major differences between the leg break 
and googly with respect to the direction of front leg. Now let's move on to the position of the body or you can say position of the chest. Well to ball a googly the position of the body or you can say the position of the chest has to face towards the leg slip or fine leg region. Well the reason for this adjustment is simply because of little bit high arm action which is actually used to ball a googly. But whereas in this leg break video you can see very clearly the position of the chest is clearly facing the backward square leg region. Well this is also one of the important differences between the leg break and googly with respect to position of chest or you can say position of body. Now finally let's move on to the concept of rotation of the ball in googly. Well after gripping the ball just like similar to leg break, well now to ball a googly the rotation of the ball is the key. So how do you rotate the ball? So to to ball a googly what exactly you got to do is try to rotate the ball in the direction of leg slip region so that it will stick to the batsman after hitting the pitch. So how to make sure to rotate the ball in the direction of leg slip region. So what you got to do is you got to concentrate on ring finger and also you got to concentrate on middle finger. You can see very clearly and you have to concentrate the gap between them between ring finger and middle finger. Well you got to practice like this like this release the ball from in between them you got to practice like this and what you got to do is exactly release the ball from back of the palm well you can see the back of the palm is clearly facing the back of the palm clearly facing the batsman and you got to release the ball from between the ring finger and middle finger you can see and you will make you have to make sure to rotate the ball in the direction of leg slip region okay well to get habitu habituated you got to practice like this okay well this is the way you have to concentrate to rotate the ball in the direction of leg slip region so that it can move into the batsman after hitting the pitch right now in this video you can see very clearly with the help of the back of the palm facing the batsman you can see how clearly the ball is getting released from between the ring finger and middle finger rotating in the direction of leg slip region so that the ball after hitting the pitch should move into the batsman. Well you can see how nicely a ball with a scrambled seam or a cross seam position nicely rotating in the direction of leg slip region. Remember, in this type of googly, the rotation of the ball will be in the direction of leg slip region with a cross seam or a scrambled seam position but not with a seam up position. Now if you look at the direction of rotation of the ball in this leg break video, you can see very clearly the direction of rotation of the ball with the seam is clearly towards the slip region which is nothing but the, the ball after hitting the pitch will clearly moves towards the slip region which in fact is a leg break which we all know. Finally this is one of the important differences between the leg break and googly with respect to the rotation of the ball. Well these are all the important differences between the leg break and googly. Well at the end of the day let us look at the both of the important actions.
well this is what the googly is all about